Sexual assault is an act in which a person intentionally sexually touches another person without that person's consent or coerces or physically forces a person to engage in a sexual act against their will. It is a form of sexual violence, which includes child sexual abuse, groping, rape, or the torture of the person in a sexual manner. Generally, sexual assault is defined as unwanted sexual contact. The National Center for Victims of Crime states, sexual assault takes many forms including attacks such as rape or attempted rape, as well as any unwanted sexual contact or threats. Usually a sexual assault occurs when someone touches any part of another person's body in a sexual way, even through clothes, without that person's consent. In the United States, the definition of sexual assault varies widely among the individual states. However, in most states sexual assault occurs when there is lack of consent from one of the individuals involved. Consent must take place between two adults who are not incapacitated and consent may change by being withdrawn at any time during the sexual act. Child sexual abuse is a form of child abuse in which an adult or older adolescent abuses a child for sexual stimulation. Forms of child sexual abuse include asking or pressuring a child to engage in sexual activities, indecent exposure of the genitals to a child, displaying pornography to a child, actual sexual contact against a child, physical contact with the child's genitals, viewing of the child's genitalia without physical contact, or using a child to produce child pornography, including live streaming sexual abuse. The effects of child sexual abuse include depression. Post traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, propensity to re victimization in adulthood, physical injury to the child, and increased risk for future interpersonal violence perpetration among males. Among other problems, sexual abuse by a family member is a form of incest. It is more common than other forms of sexual assault on a child and can result in more serious and long term psychological trauma. Especially in the case of parental incest, approximately 15 to 25 percent of women and 5 to 15 percent of men were sexually abused when they were children. Most sexual abuse offenders are acquainted with their victims. Approximately 30 percent of the perpetrators are relatives of the child, most often brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, uncles, aunts, or cousins. Around 60% are other acquaintances such as friends of the family, babysitters, or neighbors. Strangers are the offenders in approximately 10% of child sexual abuse cases. Studies have shown that the psychological damage is particularly severe when sexual assault is committed by parents against children due to the incestuous nature of the assault. Incest between a child and a related adult has been identified as the most widespread form of child sexual abuse with a huge capacity for damage to a child. Often, sexual assault on a child is not reported by the child for several of the following reasons. Many states have criminalized sexual contact between teachers or school administrators and students, even if the student is over the age of consent. Domestic violence is violence or other abuse by one person against another in a domestic setting, such as in marriage or cohabitation. It is strongly correlated with sexual assault. Not only can domestic abuse be emotional, physical, psychological and financial, but it can be sexual. Some of the signs of sexual abuse are similar to those of domestic violence. About 30% of people age 65 or older who are sexually assaulted in the US report it to the police. Assailants may include strangers, caretakers, adult children, spouses and fellow facility residents. The term groping is used to define the touching or fondling of another person in a sexual way. Without the person's consent, groping may occur under or over clothing. Outside of law, the term rape is often used interchangeably with sexual assault. Although closely related, the two terms are technically distinct in most jurisdictions. Sexual assault typically includes rape and other forms of non-consensual sexual activity. Abby et al. state that female victims are much more likely to be assaulted by an acquaintance, such as a friend or co-worker, a dating partner, an ex-boyfriend or a husband or other intimate partner than by a complete stranger.
In a study of hospital emergency room treatments for rape, Kaufman et al. stated that the male victims as a group sustained more physical trauma and were more likely to have been a victim of multiple assaults from multiple assailants. It was also stated that male victims were more likely to have been held captive longer. In the US, rape as a crime committed primarily against youth. A national telephone survey on violence against women conducted by the National Institute of Justice in the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found that 18